mathematicians, welcome to the next part of Hot Topics. We are going to be creating bar graphs. So just like I showed you in um, the first video, again, the first thing that you're going to do is label your axis. Now, when you're looking at <coughs> this, first of all, um, you'll notice that, sorry, you'll notice that I just have a um, blank like graph paper so there's nothing labeled on it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my y-axis so you're going to want to trace this and you can do more than one on a page if you can fit them um, I'm just going to do one big so that you can see it so I have made this now um, I know that the first thing on here is I know this is going to be number of students number of students so my y-axis so my data that's going on this side the information that's going to be shown here is the number of students so I'm going to go by fives 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 and so on So I've labeled that, and then down here I'm going to put shirt color because I am um, showing the different shirt colors here. So the first shirt color I have is red, and then pink, green, and blue. Now I just want my um, data to just take up one bar, so I'm going to take red, and I have 55 people wearing red, so I'm going to go up, I'm going to draw a line at 55, and then I'm going to create that. So then I can shade this in, and I want you to color all the way in, so that you can see. So red, there were 55 people wearing red. Okay, then pink, I have 25 people. So I'll go up to 25, draw my line, and then I will create my bar graph. Okay, shade that in. Green, I've got 35, so I go up to 35. Then I'll shade that in. And then blue, I have 27. So again, this is between 25 and 30. So I'm going to draw a line between those two, about where I think 27 is, and then I'll shade that in as well. So you're going to take your bar graph, make sure you've given it. Label on each side. You've labeled each one of these things, and then you've given the numbers on the side and then you are going to take a picture of this and submit it to your assignment or your, your Google Doc. So once you're back here, um, then you are going to you know, work through. And for this one, like you have four things. So you've got body parts and number of bee stings will be your axes. And then right arm would be one of your bars. Right leg would be another one and then you'd make those go up to the appropriate number. So you're going to have to choose the numbers on the side here um, for your bar graphs, and you've got um, plenty to work on, um, and if you finish, then you can head on back to Canvas.